Ciao dear hearts, we are in Paris and uh, we're at the Museum Le Angerie. <laughs> My French is terrible, <laughs> Italian's a little bit better. Um, and today we're going to be going in and hopefully showing you some Monet's. And this is Monet's masterpiece and it's been on my list forever. And I know you're gonna love it just like I do. So we'll see you in just a few minutes. So we're looking at Monet's water lilies. This is one of two rooms that he designed and he painted 250 canvas and then painted them together. First he created his garden as Giverny and then he painted the water lilies. Now he undertook this when he was in his 80s and he had this vision of being able to sit in the middle of the room and to look at his garden in the museum. The museum is really busy. There's no way we can film, you know, without all the people. And this is the way you would experience it if you were here. So what I wanted to tell you is that he began this project in his 80s and it took him many years to finish this, several years. And when he did finish it, 250 pieces of canvas, um, he donated it, he gave it to the state and he had conceived the idea of the two oval rooms in order to show his beautiful lily pond. And the sad thing is that Impressionism was not considered to be, um, it wasn't well accepted by the people. They really just didn't care about it. And years after he donated it, they actually closed the rooms and exhibited Fauvism and Cubism and Dadaism, um, all of the avant-garde pieces of art, um, because the people didn't pay attention, they didn't care about Impressionism. So in closing the museum so that people could watch or could look at the avant-garde art. Um, it sat for years in the dark uh, and uh, it was, you know, later, much, much later that it became um, something that people wanted to see, which is so, so sad actually that people didn't understand the genius and the brilliance of Monet. And at the time when he painted this, he was going blind. So it's a very moving piece of art. And what I want to impress upon you today is that no matter how old you are, if you have a vision to do something grand or wonderful, do it, try it, go for it, don't wait. Just imagine him in his 80s creating this masterwork. So this is a perfect example of where the two canvas come together um, and you can see the scene. And as you're in the room and as you're up close to the paintings, you can see the seams running down where he joined them and then painted them together. And when you stand back, you can see the pond. It's just glorious and beautiful. As you can see, it's an absolutely gorgeous day in Paris, and um, we're at Chow for now, and we want to thank you for your subscriptions, for your likes, for your comments. We so appreciate it. And next time that we film, we will be in Florence, Italy at the Uffizi, and we're going to film in the new Leonardo wing. I'm very excited about that. So um, until then.